Hi, I'm Ross Barefoot with Horizon Web Marketing. This is a quick video to show you how to add a user to your WordPress website. Now, the starting point for this video is that you have to know how to log into your WordPress website. And if you don't know how to do that, you need to figure that out first. But assuming you do, I'm going to just show you quickly how to add a user. So here I am logged into the WordPress dashboard of a demo website that we're using. And often when we start to work with a client, either because we're going to be their SEO agency or we're going to do web development work or we're going to do an SEO audit, we'll want to take a look at the WordPress installation. Now, it's usually not a good idea to hand out your login credentials to other users. It's really tough to control that once you've done it. So what we will normally do is we won't ask a client for their login credentials, we'll ask them to add us as a user. Now, here's how you do that. You go to the left on your WordPress dashboard, and as you might imagine, it's under the section that says Users. So we'll click on that, and we're going to click on Add New. And once we get into the back end here, it's going to ask us to set a user name. And so I'm just going to put my full name here as the username. We have to put an email in, so I'm going to choose a likely one. And I also think it's a good idea. You don't have to fill out the first and last name fields, but I think it's a good idea to do that because it really at least helps you to figure out down the road or somebody else down the road to figure out who does have access to the site. Notice here it has send the user an email about their account, and then you can choose the role. Now, normally, if we're working with an account and we're going to be doing SEO or web development work, we're going to need to have administrator access. You can, however, choose more limited access depending on how your WordPress is set up. You'll always have at least subscriber and editor and so forth. So we'll go ahead and select administrator. We'll click Add New User. And we are done. That's as simple as it gets, and an email has now been sent to the user that we added. That email will give them a way to log in to WordPress, and at this point you've done what you need to do, and now it's up to the person you've added to take access and log into your site. So I hope that's been useful for you. I'm Ross with Horizon Web Marketing. We do SEO training. We also do consulting, SEO audits. If you need any help with those things, let us know. Otherwise, if you like these types of quick how-to videos, please hit the subscribe button down in the lower corner, the red button there. And when you click on that, it'll give you a little alarm bell icon. And go ahead and click on that as well. And that way, you'll actually get notifications when we put a new video up. So thanks very much for watching.